Hi, it's Mitz from My Life Mitz. Thank you so much for stopping by. I've wanted to do this video for quite some time now, and I wanted to share with you a look at my traveler's notebooks that I've used for some of them for several months and some of them for several years. It's always interesting to me to see how the traveler's notebook age and I guess to see the close up of the different types of leathers. The first one here is a notebook from the Tokyo Station Traveler's Factory shop. There's three available in Tokyo. There's one in the Tokyo Station, Narita Airport, and Nakameguro. And when I first opened this traveler's notebook, I felt like it was a mixture of uh, camel and brown. And it was a good in-between leather. And you can see here, this leather shows little nicks and scratches very, very easily. I don't mind that at all. Um, this one in particular I've only used for several months, but you can see how dinged up it is already. And in the next shot you'll see a side-by-side -side, uh, image of the Traveler's Notebook with my camel 5th anniversary camel edition, so you can see the difference there. Here is a passport size 5th anniversary edition Traveler's Notebook. Uh, this is my first ever passport. Uh, passport size traveler's notebook and I haven't used it to its fullest because I'm just so scared to get it um, worn I suppose it's my f I don't know I don't know what it is I purchased it many years ago when I first started getting into the traveler's notebook craze and here it is right on top of the regular size uh, fifth anniversary edition you can see the difference in the patina and the shine the passport one is like I said I don't I don't really use it that much so you can see there's it's more of a matte leather as opposed to the one on the bottom. Um, it's actually, I bought it used so you can see the shine in uh, the leather and I guess the oils from the hands really um, have seeped through the leather and there's a really beautiful patina to the leather in the regular size. So next up is the brown regular size traveler's notebook and I've had this one for years. This is the traveler's notebook that I take with me when I go travel somewhere. This is my comfort traveler's notebook. You can even see, well hopefully you can see on the edge there, some of the coating has started to peel off just a little bit on the edges there which I, doesn't bother me at all. I just really really enjoy this uh, traveler's notebook. I've even gone ahead and stamped um, some parts in, inside and on the back part of the cover. I feel like, I don't know, it's not a really a tradition or anything, but when I visit the Traveler's Factory store in Tokyo, I always grab this Traveler's Notebook and I give it a good stamp. And then there it is side by side with the Narita edition. And you can kind of see there the, the shine, but you can kind of see the uh, stamping that I did. It's so hard to see because of the patina already, but I really, really enjoy this brown size, uh, regular size traveler's notebook. is the regular size traveler's notebook in the fifth anniversary edition in camel and I've actually purchased this used from an auction site in Japan and I was just shocked when I saw it available I, I, uh, I had to get it even though it's used uh, it was it already came quite uh, patina and it ha already had a nice shine to it but you can see here like the reflection is totally different uh, from my passport size 5th anniversary edition and I just really really enjoy using this uh, traveler's notebook as well. The owner, previous owner had a clip on there and you can see the huge indent. It doesn't bother me at all. I like to take this with me as well uh, to travel. I like this one as well as the regular brown. The only thing with this I get scared is if I lose it or uh, something bad happens to it, somebody steals it, I won't be able to really replace it because it's the 5th anniversary edition. So I do use it a lot um, at home and um, yeah, I just really, really enjoy this Camel 5th uh, anniversary edition traveler's notebook. Here is a regular size traveler notebook in black and you can see it's 
it doesn't really show that much wear as easily as the other notebooks. I don't know about your black leather, but for me, I feel like it doesn't ding up uh, as much or it doesn't scratch up as much. I used it for several months um, and still, like, it doesn't, it still looks really quite new. Uh, if you see against the light, you will see some uh, dings and scratches, but it's relatively new, newer looking compared to the other uh, Traveler's notebooks that I have. And here it is, the Olive Regular Size Traveler's Notebook. I really, really, really like this Traveler's Notebook. I don't know, I feel like the leather is just different from my other ones. It is, like I mentioned in my unboxing, it feels really moist in a way and it feel, still feels the same way. Yes, it does ding up and scratch very easily. You can see all the different um, small scratches, but the feel of the leather is just more... I don't know, not luxurious, but it just feels heavier and uh, more moist. I don't know how better to describe it, but this is very much one of my favorite uh, Traveler's Notebooks. Um, I try not to use it every day, but I reach for it every day. I don't know what it is. I've even um, switched out some of my notebooks into my other Traveler's Notebooks so that I can kind of rotate them, but I still grab and gravitate towards this Olive Edition and I'm just really glad that I did. Initially I was quite disappointed with the color. I felt like it was a brown with like a slight green tinge but if you put it side by side with the other brown Traveler's Notebooks you can really see the difference and for some reason it absorbs the colors from other sources so if you have it beside a green it looks more green and if you have it beside a brown it looks a little bit more brown. It's just really really neat. It's a really neat uh, Traveler's Notebook and I'm so glad that I was able to purchase this Olive Edition. Next up we have the Passport size in brown. This was a purchase uh, made, it's a purchase from my husband. My husband gave it to me as a gift and you can see there, you can see the little dings and uh, scratches. And this is my everyday carry. I don't take it with me everywhere I go, but I do like to take it with me because it's so nice and compact. I have filmed a video showing you the insides of the Passport Traveler's Notebook and just like with my regular size brown one, I really really like this uh, leather. I love how it kind of shows its age and how it shines after you know using it for quite some time. So there it is. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really wanted to share with you what the leather looked like or looks like after using it for months or years. I know I see a lot of these questions uh, pop up on Instagram and on Facebook and I just thought it would be easier to show you uh, what the Traveler's Notebooks look like after using them for months and years. So I hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to like and share this video if you think you have some friends that are interested or curious about Traveler's Notebooks. And I will see you very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.